What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. You guys know what time it is. Thanks for the question, by the way. Um, okay, so I'm going to read it out. Hi, my friend, my daughter is eight years old. I signed her up for Taekwondo, amazing. I actually did Taekwondo when, uh, for three years when I was younger. She does about eight Taekwondo and two to three judo lessons a week. She is very strong, but can't yet pull all of these judo moves together uh, during the sparring. Uh, she isn't bad, but yet I see that she has potential. I was wondering if I sign her up for BJJ once a week, maybe twice, would that benefit her judo skills, uh, groundwork? Once again, thanks for your question, Matt. And um, yeah, okay, so eight times Taekwondo and two to three times judo uh, a week. So that's that's insane. I mean, that's great, that's great. That's what I mean by that. If I had kids, I would put them in martial arts all the way to, and I would just saturate their schedule <laughs> with, with training, right? In regards to her not being able to, uh, um, to pull off all these judo moves together in sparring, well, it's only been six months, so you gotta give it some time. Like, it takes time to be able to actually do, uh, pull off these judo techniques and throws in actual sparring. As long as she's having fun and she enjoys it, right, and the, the environment is, uh, is well suited and the coaches are good, then uh, she'll be fine, you know, she'll be able to pull it off. When it comes to kids, you know, it's more about them, uh, you know, having fun, right, developing uh, like the mo like the uh, the movement patterns and all that and they have to learn through play So they have to gamify everything and make it um, fun for them because if it's too strict uh, Too competitive then you know, they might just uh, the kids kind of uh, drop off you were thinking of putting her in uh, BJJ I, I think it's a great idea. I think it's definitely gonna give her a, a big advantage later on like in judo They do 50 50 some clubs is like 70 30, you know 70 uh, tachi waza like standing up and then 30% on the ground so if you put her in BJJ she's, she's gonna like develop a really really uh, strong ground game and you gotta remember that BJJ comes from judo it was just you know uh, adapted and all that I think the more a kid is exposed to the more sports that they practice the more movement patterns uh, it's, 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 it's going to translate very well later on the club where you're at where it's only three times and it's pretty easy do they have any adult classes? And if uh, maybe look at those adult classes to see, uh, you know, how they look like. If not, then I don't know if there's another club that's, uh, that's nearby that maybe you could take a look at to see if they're a little bit more competitive and then maybe try that one and, and compare. If she doesn't really have a preference or if she's, and you want her to like get good at judo, then it would be better to reduce, in my opinion, uh, Taekwondo a little bit make her do more uh, BJJ. So you have judo three times a week, maybe you have jujitsu three times a week, and then you tack on like whatever's left of Taekwondo. Cause Taekwondo might be, um, judo and Brazilian jujitsu are much more effective in uh, actual combat. If she enjoys it, maybe keep it at once a week, twice a week, why not? It's different, it's fun, different uh, movement patterns and all that. If I had options, right, I would choose the best club. I would try them all. Bring the kid there, see, see which one is the best, boom, choose the best judo club. And uh, yeah, keep me posted on, um, on, on what you decide, what you're going to do. And if you have any other questions, then just uh, send me another email. All right, so that's it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know down below what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, what would you add to that? And of course, uh, there's a lot of guys in the community here who have a lot more experience than I do. I'm just uh, speaking from... Uh, my point of view and what I think I would do. That's it. I hope that made sense, uh, Matt. And uh, thanks again for the question. Love you guys. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.